The Arco 3084 features a pretty interesting design. It's an 84 key keyboard, which means 84 keys. It's got all the advantages of a 10 keyless keyboard with its arrow keys, delete, home end, and it has the F keys included, but it's much more compact than even a 10 keyless keyboard. It's almost the best of both worlds, featuring both the compact nature of a poker keyboard and the functionality of a 10 keyless keyboard. The Arco 3084 in particular here definitely caught your eye. It's pink, it's white, and it has this Japanese pink sakura theme. The spacebar has Mount Fuji on it, you get keycaps with Japanese themed cat animations and drawings and stuff, and you get this nice little replacement for your right enter key if you so desire to put a fish kite, I think that's what it's called, on your keyboard. It's pink, which some guys might not like, but I think a lot of people do, especially on the female side of things. Not to stereotype, it's just a general trend that I noticed. More girls like this keyboard than guys, it's just the way things are. The design is eye-catching and the layout is definitely not the most common, but on both of these fronts, it works wonderfully with great functionality and I love the look of this particular Tokyo World Tour edition. In terms of other things, you've got rubber feet on the bottom and kick feet that allow you to have a more ergonomic typing position. And on the back of the keyboard, you've got a USB-C port, which means the cable of this keyboard is removable, which is excellent. It comes with a nice long USB-C cable, and it also comes with a couple of replacement keycaps if you want to spice up the design of this a little bit. And it also comes with a keycap puller, so removing those keycaps isn't that hard. The keycaps build quality is pretty decent. I mean, it's not the thickest PBT material, it's ABS, but hey, it's alright. And I personally like it. I love the design of the keycaps. Uh, the build quality of the keyboard itself might not be phenomenal. The Arco clear blue switches aren't great, and the case might feel a bit tacky, but there's little flex, and all around it's still reasonably okay. It doesn't feel expensive, but it isn't an expensive keyboard, so you've got to understand that that's the case. Since we're on the topic of build quality of those switches, let's talk about those switches. Now, the one I got are the Arco clear blues. I couldn't find any information about who exactly made these switches, but they definitely feel like Gateron blues in terms of their resistance and their lightness, but at the same time, they have the scratchiness of the cheaper Carl blue switches. Of course, Carl has premium upmarket stuff, but the normal Carl blue switches are still considered pretty low end and budget crappy stuff. That's not to say the Echo Clear Blues are bad, they are clicky and satisfying and they feel nice to type on on a daily basis. But if you're a connoisseur of mechanical keyboard switches, don't come looking for the best in this switch. It's a budget focused switch for a budget keyboard and it is evident here. I found that there was a bit of wobble with the key switches and also the some switches kind of got stuck when you bottomed them out, which was kind of weird. They didn't get stuck completely, but it felt like they stuck to the bottom for a tiny fraction of a second before coming back up, which is a sign of poor build quality at QC. If you could, I would recommend you get the Cherry MX or Gateron version of the Echo 3084 and avoid the Echo Clear Blue switches if you're looking for a clicky switch experience. At least that's what I can tell from my own personal experience with these switches. But the typing experience is still good and the sound is pretty nice. Overall, what do I think about this keyboard? It's not the best, but it's far from the worst. At a very value price of like about 90 to 100 something Singapore dollars, or about 90, 80 USD. This keyboard provides a lot of value, so it looks like pretty much nothing else if you get the Tokyo World Tour Edition in particular. So if you want a keyboard with this particular theme, you're either stuck with this or the Daki Vamilo Mia 68 Pro Collab that came out three years ago, which is very difficult to find. So it's a unique product and it's at a very reasonable price with very reasonable features. Of course it lacks RGB, software support and the build quality isn't phenomenal. But it's value for money and provides something that nothing else really provides in terms of its design and theme. So I think it's a recommendation from me. If you like the look, if you like the layout, just get it. It's good. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, join my Discord and ask there. I reply to every single thing over there. Or you can follow me on Instagram as well. It's all linked in the description. I reply to everything. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Peace.